YouTube. In today's video, I'm showcasing my top five meta loadouts in Warzone 3. But not just my overall top five loadouts, I'm going through and telling you guys exactly which assault rifles you should be running in the current meta. So of course, stay tuned for that. But real quick, I want to give a massive shout out to the Nodi gang. I do also have you guys a gameplay using the number one assault rifle. Without further ado, let's hop directly into it. Plus the loaded crate, lock me in. God, I'm shooting right now. What? Did you just throw a spear at me? Hello? I'm out here dodging spears right now. He's ridiculous, bro. I don't even know how many times he's been nerfed. I think we're like one or two nerfs deep, but it is still like not even, it's not even close how good this thing is. By far number one. The guy bought him? Where's this guy at? Oh no. I thought he was moving though. He was kind of moving, I'll be honest. He was hitting those zip lines going crazy. Okay. He was hitting those zip lines going crazy. Making all that noise, Jaden. Making all that noise, Jaden stomping around. Tower? He is in the tower. He's so weird, bro. XP boost inbound. Locations marked. Oh my god, I just got beamed. A little close, a little closer than I expected out of Jaden. Wow, 
Why can I not hit a throwing knife right now? I keep missing these th throwing knives. I'm about to tweak. There's somebody flying. There's so many people in that building. The guy up top. So weird right there. Jaden keeps almost gunning me and I don't like it, bro. It's all the way up. Scuba Steve. Remaining operators from that squad. Hunt them down. Already at 24 though. This is a good game. Like I was saying earlier, we're like one or two nerves deep Enemy on this STG and it is just absolutely ridiculous. So bro. I think we should have a whole team in this building too. Might try to get just busy. Cleared up. Again! Oh yeah, we're cooking still. Up this. I get a box. I don't want to get a muni box or something. Come on. So the fire cells get a UAV. Bro, could this be my first game on? I feel like I am shooting right now. First game on, bro. I'm, I'm absolutely shooting right now. We're cooking. Probably some guys control. I probably have that guy that beat me, bro. That guy earlier killed me with that sidewinder. It killed me so fast. Why? Is that thing like better than I thought? That guy still bro i knew he was gonna still be over there he's the one that just gunned me with that sidewinder That ant kill, thank God. He seemed he seemed pretty solid, bro. Oh, 
Also, this is my first time being blessed by specialists since the, the Supreme game mode went away. I should have ping up here, didn't I? Solid work evading the enemy. You're clear for now. Keep your eyes up for prize contracts. You'll earn more buck for your bag. What, what in the world was that? Guy's terrified. Absolutely terrified. Forty one, me and two teams. Me and five people, bro. All of them in one building except one guy. And that guy just died to gas. V2 and I'm pretty sure they're both below me. Where's he going? He's so close. What in the world was his game plan, bro? Bro, like I said, first game on, we were kind of shooting. I'll take it 44, 18, almost 19,000 damage. That STG is by far, not even close, the best assault rifle in the entire game. I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay with the STG, but hopping into the actual list, at the number five spot, we do have the MCW assault rifle, which in my opinion, I actually like this thing more as a secondary with the conversion kit, turning it into an SMG. But of course, with the assault rifle list, we are gonna build this for long range. So for the first two attachments, we are doing it for recoil control and kind of making it to where it's useful long range. So of course, the quartermaster suppressor to where it's keeping you guys off that mini map and making it to where the MCW has zero recoil. Then mixing in perfect with that is the 16.5 inch MCW Cyclone Long Barrel, giving you guys that bolt velocity and damage range, aiming out of sway and that firing aim stability, making it to where the MCW is hitting harder. You're going to be getting closer to hit scan and you're even more accurate. And then just like most of my builds, I am tossing on the high grain ammunition, which is mixing in perfect with the barrel, giving you guys even more bolt velocity and damage range. And like I always tell you guys, the optics are 100% personal preference. You guys can run whatever you feel the most comfortable with but for me on pretty much most of my builds i absolutely love running the jack glassless optic and of course for the last and final attachment we have the 60 round drum mag increase that mag capacity make it so you can beam an entire four stack if you really need to but that's my full build for the mcw assault rifle in warzone 3 season 5 reloaded so make sure you guys go through give the entire bit of try and tell me the highest kill game you guys get with it let me get you guys loaded number four hopping directly into loaded number four we have the bow 27 assault rifle but you guys know this went through multiple updates of just catching massive buffs making it one of the best primaries in the entire game so same thing here just like all my builds we are running the quarter master suppressor giving you guys the exact same pros and cons and sliding up to the barrel we're gonna go ahead and toss on the crown h3 barrel giving you guys that bull velocity and damage range aim walking speed aiming out of sway and that movement speed so not only is it making to where the bow 27 is hitting harder you're gonna be getting closer to hit scan and you're also faster around the map and probably my favorite attachment on the build and mixing in perfect with the barrel we're not gonna toss on the high grain ammunition we're gonna toss on the high velocity which actually gives a bigger boost for that bull velocity with 30 percent making it so the battle 27 really feels like it's hit skin and to make sure the build isn't bouncing all over the place we're gonna go up to the stock and toss on the ardent attack stock giving you guys that gun kick control firing aim stability and that recoil control and of course for the last and final attachment we have the 60 round mag increase that mag capacity which as you guys can tell is the only mag option for the battle 27 so it is absolutely essential for the build but that's my full build for the battle 27 assault rifle
cool. So same thing here. Make sure you guys go through. Give the entire bit a try and tell me the highest kill game you guys get with it. That's loaded number four. So let me get you guys loaded number three. Loaded number three, we have one of my favorite assault rifles for a very long time with the SVA 545. For the first three attachments, they all pretty much do the exact same thing before the muzzle. We are tossing on the sonic suppressor, which a lot of you guys ask me why I run this suppressor. And the main reason why is it gives a bigger boost for that bolt velocity. And speaking of bolt velocity, we're going to go down to the ammunition and toss on the high grain ammunition. Again, giving us that bolt velocity and damage range, making sure the SVA is hitting harder and you guys are getting closer to hit scan. And of course, to mix in perfect for those two attachments, we are going to toss on the STV precision barrel, giving you guys that aiming auto sway, bolt velocity and damage range, gun kick control, and that recoil control. And like I was saying before, the optics are always 100% personal preference, but I like to run the Jack Glasses optic, not only for being the cleanest optic, but also for that firing aim stability. And of course, for the last and final attachment, we have the 60 round mag, increase that mag capacity. But you guys know, I run the SVA in semi-automatic, so this makes it to where you can be multiple people without having to reload. But that's my load number three on the list. So again, make sure you guys go through, give the entire bit of try and tell the highest kill game you guys get with it. Let's hop directly into loaded number two. In the two spot, we have an assault rifle that you guys have been hearing me talk about a lot recently. I don't know if I missed some secret buff or something, but this thing feels absolutely ridiculous. So of course, just like all the other builds, we are going to toss on the quarter master suppressor, which like I told you guys is keeping you guys off that mini map while also making to where you have zero recoil. Then sliding up to the barrel, we're going to go and toss on the MTZ clinch pro barrel, giving you guys that bolt velocity, damage range, aiming auto sway, and that firing aim stability. And the main reason why I'm running this over the drifter barrel is because the clinch pro barrel gives you an even bigger boost for that bolt velocity. And one of my favorite things about the MTZ is the fact that it has zero recoil. And these next two attachments are a massive reason why. Starting off with the MTZ Marauder stock, giving you guys that gun kick control and that recoil control. But we're also going to slide down to the under barrel and toss on the Bruin heavy support grip, which I know there's a ton of other attachments you could toss on. You could toss on a rear grip or even a different under barrel, but I just feel super smooth with this under barrel, giving us that gun kick control, aiming auto sway, horizontal recoil control, and that firing aim stability. And of course, for the last and final attachment, we have the 50 round drum mag, increase that mag capacity, which the fire rate on the MTZ is actually super fast. So in my opinion, this is essential for the build. But that's my full build for the MTZ 556 assault rifle. And in my opinion, it is one of the most underrated weapons in Warzone 3. So same thing here. Make sure you guys go through, give the entire bit of try and tell the highest kill game you guys get with it. Let me get you guys the last loader on the list, the STG 44. And of course, in that number one spot for the list, we have the STG 44 assault rifle, which like I was talking about in the gameplay, I think we're two nerves deep on it, but it is still absolutely disgusting. If for some reason you guys skip the gameplay, I highly recommend you guys watch it because I was shooting nukes. Before the build, we are going to be tossing on the quartermaster suppressor, giving us the exact same pros and cons. Then sliding up to the barrel, we're going to go and toss on the C70 long barrel, giving you guys that bolt velocity and damage range and that aiming auto sway making sure the stg is hitting harder and you're getting closer to hit scan then of course we are tossing on the jack glasses optic which i'll say it again the optics are 100 personal preference you guys can run whatever you feel the most comfortable with in the gameplay you guys saw that this build has zero recoil and one of the main reasons why is the dr79 combo stock giving us that gun kick control recoil control and that firing aim stability making sure the stg isn't moving whatsoever and of course for the last and final attachment we have the 50 round drum mag Increase that mag capacity, making sure you don't have to reload after every single kill. But that's my full STG 44 build and my loaded number one on the list. So same thing as all the other builds. Make sure you guys go through. Give the entire bit of try and tell the highest kill game you guys get with it. Let me get you guys everything else that I run. And pretty much all my gameplays, you guys see me running a stim with a throwing knife. And for my perk package, I have double time, mountaineer, tempered, and the flex perk. I will say the perks are 100% personal preference. You can swap out mountaineer if you want to run sleight of hand. But this is my main setup that I run in all my gameplays so make sure you guys go through test out every single build on the list and let me know down in the comments below if this video helped you guys out at all and if it did make sure you guys hit that sub button that's it for the video